friends, I hope you're having an inspiring day. So today we are shifting gears a little bit from fashion and style and we're doing a little bit of beauty self-care up in here. So I know that I don't typically talk about beauty and skincare here on YouTube, but I do definitely talk about it a lot on Instagram and my blog. I actually have a bunch of beauty and skincare loves that I want to share with you guys. So let me know in the comments below if you think I should throw in a little beauty in our wildcard Wednesday videos maybe. But today I'm actually going to be sharing with you guys some new products that I just received from Yves Rocher. So I've actually used Yves Rocher products in the past before. I actually used one of their cleansers and really, really liked it. But the brand as a whole, if you're unfamiliar with it, is a super affordable, super accessible brand. And if you look at the ingredient list and what they kind of are committed to developing, their products around. It's actually really great. They have a lot of sustainability initiatives. They're really committed to what they actually put in their products, which I think is great. And like I said, I've used their products before. I'm actually trying their body care and hair care for the very first time. So I figured I would share with you guys what I ended up getting to try and also my thoughts on them. I would say that all these products are kind of like summer must-have type products in the sense that they are really great for the summertime. A very big thank you to Yves Rocher for providing me with these products and for partnering with me on this video. All of my opinions I'm going to be sharing with you guys on these products. My first impressions of them are going to be completely my own, but a big thank you to them for partnering with me and supporting my channel. But without further ado, let us get into these self-care summer must-haves. Right, so this first product here is called their Minoy Traditional Nourishing Oil, and it's actually a sort of ancestral oil. I've definitely heard about nourishing oils, dry oils, things like that many times in the past, but I love how multi-purposeful dry oils and oils are for your body and your hair. It's kind of one of those products that kind of does it all. I have tried so many different oils, both for my hair and my body, a lot of essential oils and things like that. So really excited to give this one a try. So this product's actually 97.5% actual Manoy of Tahiti oil, which I think is great. So it can be used for your hair as well as your body, which is amazing. You're supposed to shake it before you use it and then I like to just put a little bit of the oil in my hands and then I like to kind of rub it in my hands, especially because my hands get super, super dry. I don't know about you guys, but I have been washing my hands like crazy and so I feel like my hands always get super, super dry and like crack on me. And again, the great thing about an oil like this is that you can use it on your hair. This is the very first time I'm trying this particular one out. And I actually really like the fact that it's not oily at all. So there's no oily texture on your hands after you've used it, which actually means that the oil absorbs really, really well. This is also great for after sun care. If you guys are in the sun a lot, your skin obviously takes a huge toll from that. So having an oil that kind of nourishes your skin after you've exposed it to like either really drying climates or whatever or just need some extra TLC. This oil is so great for that. I will say that all of the Yves Rocher products that I've tried in the past, uh, I actually went to their, a store of theirs in while I was in Paris when I was in France uh, last year and it just smells like botanicals. I feel like they're really heavy on botanicals in their products so it just gives you that sort of floral scent that really warms you and just kind of makes you feel really feminine, really refreshed. And this bottle of the traditional nourishing oil is $25, which honestly is actually a really good deal because I've definitely picked up other oils and nourishing oils that are supremely more expensive than that. The next product here is the Minoy Multi-Purpose Moisturizing Dry Oil. So this one is similar to the nourishing oil is gonna be really great for your skin, for your hair. Um, it comes in a spray formula, which I think is actually really nice, uh, just because sometimes you need something that's a little bit less heavy. So I would probably use the nourishing oil when I needed to do something extra hydrating, something like a, a mask. I would use it as a mask in my hair or on my body before I go to sleep, just to give it that extra boost of hydration. And then I would use the uh, multi-purpose moisturizing dry oil kind of throughout the day. I actually really like that it comes in a spray form Formula. The other multi-purpose uh, dry oils I've had in the past are in like a dropper or in like a bottle and it's just really hard to kind of use on the go. So this one I'll actually probably keep 
in my powder room or even in my purse or my bag travel bags things like that it's really helpful for you just kind of spray on and it gives you that extra boost it also gives you that beautiful glow so I also like to bring this not that I'm going to many beaches right now but I like to bring a spray dry oil like this with me um, kind of after I'm done in the Sun just to give my body that extra bit of hydration but also it does give you that extra bit of shine um, on your body and just makes your body glisten and is obviously very nourishing so I love myself good oils don't get me wrong I like body creams hand creams things like that too it's just that I find that the oils are so much more effective so much more quick um, than like your average hand cream or body cream and the multi-purpose dry oil that you can use for your skin or your hair this one here is $22 the next thing that I picked up uh, from Yves Rocher is the Minoy gentle hair and body wash so a couple things about a product like this I love that it kind of does a double duty I'm not gonna lie when I'm here and I'm at home I'll typically use like a whole system of hair care being blonde you just you just have to there's just so many things that you need to do with your hair to maintain it I will say that when we go camping or we're going to a pool or something for the day and I need to shower kind of on the go having something like this that is a shampoo um, and a body wash together is so great so I obviously really like their Manoy of Tahiti collection it actually has that Manoy of Tahiti oil that I've actually heard a lot about outside of the Yves Rocher products so I was really interested in the fact that these products had that kind of embedded as the center of the product so I'm obviously not gonna wash my hair right now or wash my body in front of you guys but the oils actually make me feel like this product is gonna be really really good most kind of two-in-one hair and body washes I find don't really nourish they don't really add um, a lot of moisturization or hydration to my hair or body they're kind of just for efficiency but I'm really excited about this one because obviously it has that Minoy of a Tahiti oil in it so it's gonna be really nourishing um, it's supposed to be really Really good for like a coarse hair as well and keeping your coarse hair soft no tight skin because of that and this bottle this size here in particular is only four dollars and fifty cents another thing that I really love and almost always have is a scrub so either a facial exfoliant or a body scrub or a scrubbing exfoliator apparatus I'm just a big fan of exfoliation and at the center of that is a lot of my scrubs so I'm actually trying this uh, Minoy of Tahiti body scrub in oil so this one has that Minoy of Tahiti oil in it of course it also has exfoliating coconut shells which I feel like is so cool I just tried some on my hand just to feel the texture of it and it is almost like an exfoliator that melts into an oil so it kind of will rinse off really really nicely like I said this is so great to kind of refresh your skin remove dead skin cells and I feel like exfoliation is so underrated but is so so important whenever I go to a spa I almost always have the exfoliation um, or scrub treatments because my body just feels like a queen after it's been like fully scrubbed down and this scrub here is $22 honestly because because I'm trying all these products in front of the camera and behind the camera my whole office right now just smells like an explosion of beautiful Tahitian oil so the next thing I'm trying from Yves Rocher is uh, this eau de toilette this is actually called Vague de Thé and I just sprayed myself with it and it smells so beautiful so feminine it's definitely a really a nice fresh summer scent I have personally my own scent that I use on a day-to-day -day basis I've been using it since I was 14 but I feel like this is a really great one to kind of throw in your beach bag spray after you have maybe not had a shower yet and then go somewhere nice I, I feel like this scent is really nice for that it almost feels like a beach day it smells like a beach day if that makes sense I also just learned that this eau de toilette actually is made from 77% botanical alcohol which I didn't even know was a thing but is so cool and I'm definitely gonna be looking into it now it also includes 94% of ingredients from natural origin which is also really interesting and something I've never thought about but definitely excited to smell like summer possibly all year round I'm just wafting behind the camera 
in between cuts. I'm like just wafting this whole time. And this eau de toilette is $45. So fun fact for you guys, if you didn't know, je parle français. Uh, je suis canadien et donc je parle français. Uh, I actually speak French. Uh, here in Canada, you have to learn French, but I spent a lot of time in Quebec, which is our French province. And so naturally, I just love everything French, uh, everything with French inspiration. I feel like French companies do things really well. Uh, this is is completely offside but I just thought I would mention that fun little little fact about me and the very last thing that I'm trying from that Manoy collection is the beach effect hairspray so this is a salt spray and a little bit of a reason why I'm excited to try this is because I've only tried salt spray hair wave sprays like this uh, from heavily chemical reliant brands and I personally hated the way that it made my hair feel it felt really crunchy and my hair is already super processed obviously because it's blonde and I'm naturally dark haired and so sprays like that I just felt like fried my hair completely and I was not into it but this product is actually more than 99% ingredients from natural origin so I just felt like it might be worth a try in case it was like the chemical imbalances with my hair that kind of made it that crunchy feel. So really excited to give this one a try and if it actually gives me that effortless beachy wave out of the water. And obviously it has that beautiful warm summer scent to it just like everything in the collection. If you guys get a chance, I would definitely try to go out and smell this line. It smells incredible and just Hmm, makes me feel like it's gonna be summer all year round, which obviously it is not. And the last thing that I'm actually trying from Yves Rocher is this Go Green nail polish. So I am really intrigued by the fact that this is a Go Green nail polish. In my head, I feel like those two things don't really mix. But apparently this particular nail polish is actually made with bio-sourced solvents, which is really interesting. I did a little bit of research on it. And it is essentially much better for you and much better for the planet. So it's actually made with ingredients produced from botanical biomass. So that includes things like beets, sugarcane, and even wood. And it is just shocking the color payoff from that, despite being from so many natural sources. It's also enriched with coconut oil and bamboo extract, which I feel like is a amazing for your nails. I have super brittle nails right now so much so that I actually have a shellac on it but as soon as I get this off I'm so excited to try this nail polish. If you guys have tried it let me know in the comments below because I would love to hear your thoughts. And that is it for this little I guess Yves Rocher haul. Um, I just wanted to share with you guys kind of what I got what I've been trying out. I'd love to know what you guys kind of use if you guys use any like dry oils scrubs exfoliants any of the products that I kind of like and also I'd love to know if you guys have tried and or love Yves Rocher products as well I like I said prior to this had only tried their cleansers uh, so their skincare before but I actually did a lot more research into the brand and love kind of what they do what they stand for and how affordable their brand is so I'm super excited to give these products a try again let me know what you think in the comments below let me know if you like this sort of drop of beauty skincare sort of a vibe into our typical style of fashion channel if you did like this video make sure to give it a big inspired thumbs up so i know that you guys like these sorts of videos and if you're new to the inspire family thank you so much for giving this video a watch we hope you join us for a bit longer and subscribe but with that i hope you guys have an inspiring and summer scent filled rest of your day because I am definitely going to be. Remember that kindness doesn't cost a thing and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!